All right, chat. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let me transition to this screen real quick. Sorry, I'm got to make myself look presentable. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> All right, chat, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully everything sounds good. The webcam is going to be choppy today, chat. I am pushing my computer to its limits. My computer is being pushed to its absolute limits. I tried my best. That's why it took a bit longer to uh, to set up the stream. I tried my best to like try and limit some settings to get my webcam to run at 60 frames. But as you can see, it's we're running probably at about 24, maybe even less frames per second. What's up, Mario Nova? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm very excited for this stream, chat. I've been very excited to play this for such a long time. And it's finally come out to the, to the general public. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, chat, obviously if you've seen the thumbnail and or title, we're gonna be playing Super Mario 64. Um, but RTX on, like not even clickbait. RTX is actually on. We're playing Super Mario 64 with ray tracing, which is like amazing. Um, sorry, I have to find the person that made this. One sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, I know who it is, hang on. They were helping me get it set up. I just, it's something, Ario. I just can't remember what the first letter is. Um, one sec, chat. Let me go look real quick before I forget. By Dario Samo. Uh, so this is going to be a mix. We're playing the Render 96 PC port as well as... We're going to do a little bit of both. We're going to do Render 96 with RTX on. And then we'll, we'll do just the vanilla game with RTX on itself. We'll kind of compare and contrast. Because they both look really good. I think they both look really good in their own way. Also, thank you for the Super Chats. I missed one earlier from Kim uh, Hellier. Thanks so much. Forgot to uh, acknowledge that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Twitch follows. And thank you, Link G Gamer. Hope I said that right. Um, but yeah, we'll be playing around with both. So without further ado, I hope it streams well. Like, it runs fine on my PC. I hope it streams in 60 frames for you guys. Um, I hope everything goes okay, chat. I hope everything goes okay. All right, let's turn down the audio here. I'm super excited. I am super excited for this, chat. I am beyond beyond excited to play this okay uh let's transition okay also g fuel still 30 percent off till tomorrow chat let's go back to the main we'll start a fresh file i don't know if we'll play through the whole game but uh it's gonna be a good time so for those that don't know okay, i guess before we preface this two things one shout out to my friend aaron that let me borrow his rtx card for those that haven't seen my tweets for the past couple days i only have a gtx card Personally, so I, I went over and borrowed his card today. So shout out to my boy Aaron. Everyone say shout out to Aaron in the chat. A A R O N. A A R O N. Um, second of all, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> second of all, something. Uh, restarting file. Oh, I was gonna say for those that don't know what art, like what ray tracing is, uh, I'm pr I'm pretty layman when it comes to what it actually means. I believe. Like the, the, the layman's terms definition of it is it tries to recreate life in the most realistic way possible. So light actually bounces off things more true to life how it should be. Um, so, it, I, I, so I play this a little bit. Um, I test it a little bit, kind of see how it works. So one major example is, for example, uh, metal will actually reflect stuff in the game. Light will uh, off of water will reflect how it should in real life. So the, the actual definition of ray tracing, in 3D computer graphics, ray tra tracing is a rendering technique for generating an image by tracing the path of light as pixels in an image plane and simulating the effect of its encounters with virtual objects. So I think in layman's terms, it tries to recreate light in the most accurate way possible. You know? You know? All right. So without further ado, you can already see things are looking good. Um, but yeah. So we'll start out. We'll start out with the Render 96. So this, this in specific hasn't really i mean it's, it's public it's not in the pc builder or anything yet you have to like compile it yourself which is a little bit more difficult so that was like a learning experience for me but let's just jump right into it chat. i'm just kidding that was that was uh i was still on the erase file screen let's just jump right into it chat. Let's see how it goes my camera fps is crap i am yeah you must have missed the the intro spiel where we talked about that but yeah like i said we are we are pushing my computer to its absolute limits right now <laughs> so I'm, ho I'm 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 thinking I'm prioritizing the game FPS because I think that's more important than uh, my silly face. But uh, let me uh, let me see if I can throw up uh, chat on the screen. 
At least in the bottom left or something. Chat box, add source, add source. Let's see if I can add it, chat. Let's see if that works. Anyway, this is this is the best this game has ever worked. Or ever looked. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm playing this game, I don't even believe that I'm playing this game. Like, I'm actually playing it myself. I keep thinking it's like a pre-rendered screenshot from, uh, from the old, old magazines and stuff. Yeah, the camera's gonna be laggy, chat. I was debating not even having it, but... YOLO. So good. Looking so crisp. This isn't even, this isn't even maxed out. If I go, uh, this is like a hundred, I think out of... 240 again i had to limit it a little bit so i, <laughs> I want to i have to save some of my computer resources for other stuff but uh it still looks like phenomenal i might bump it down a little bit more see if that helps with the camera it might not but we'll see Um, again, I'm prioritizing it, and it's still, it's making my, uh, graphics card lag. Actually, I wonder... Wait a second, chat. I wonder if I just plugged in my, gra uh, my, my camera thing into, into the wrong USB port. Give me one sec. Uh, we'll continue in a sec. I just want to see if I put it in the wrong port. try a different usb port maybe maybe it's not a thing at all maybe i just plugged it into the wrong uh, usb port let's see let's see uh <laughs> i just thought of it uh it's still a bit choppy but it's better than it was i think okay we're back it's it's still maybe it's not better at all anyway uh yeah anyway yeah we're pushing we're pushing my pc to the limits but uh okay should be good because we're uh i'm i'm rendering the game so i'm running the game i'm running my webcam I'm recording this, I'm streaming this. So literally my PC is just being pushed to the edge. Uh, SPG, thank you for becoming a member as well. Renewing that membership, I appreciate it. Also, Patter Studios with a 399. Mario RTX 80%. So I don't know if that changed anything. I don't know, I, I really couldn't see the difference between 80 and 100. Let's just crank it back to 100. Um, but yeah, this is like, honestly, looks better than most games that came out this year. And like, I think I'm, yeah, I'm running all the HD textures as well. So I got the, it's gonna, it might, actually, I might turn it back down. <laughs> it's gonna start, it's gonna start stuttering if I, let's go to, let's actually go to 80%. Whenever there's gonna be a lot of stuff on screen that's moving, it's gonna start chugging. Cause it has to render so much stuff uh, on screen. Also, the stars have their own, like, uh, their own light. Which we'll see in a second. Let me turn down the audio a little bit. In case it's a bit too loud. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, like, even, even the cutscenes are gonna get laggy. I think just certain things require more, uh, processing power than other stuff. But, yeah, so, look, even, like, the, uh, so the star itself has, it's, like, its own glow, which affects everything. All the shadows, uh, react to it, like, like they would in real life. Like, if you look at Mario's shadow, um, it acts pretty much as if it would in real life. I don't, I don't remember if I have the mod enabled. Okay, I'll turn it on. I'll turn on the thing that um, that lets me uh, stay in the level after getting a star. Super RT, yeah, exactly. Super RTX 64. Oh, it's so much nicer when it's like smooth and not <laughs> chopped up by the 
the what you call them? Uh, sorry, uh, I'm trying to think. Chopped up by the uh, chain chomp there. Uh, can you stay exit course at any time? Quick ending. I don't know if there's a cheat that lets me stay in the stage after I get a star. Uh, maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't chat. It's okay. I don't think we'll play through the whole game. I just want to, well, this will be more, most like a showcase of stuff that, uh, that shows up on screen. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Okay. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Of, oh, um, it'll be tough to like visualize it, but, uh, also apparently the bubbles in the stage, like the, the, the bubbles that the cannon shoot down towards you, they actually like reflect everything in real time too. I wish I could just like slow this down. It just happens so fast, but like when you see Mario running around the, the bu bubble, it actually like reflects it how real light should. Like you can see the chain chomp in the back. Cause I think normally it's just like a texture when it jumps around. Uh, here we get to see like, sorry, again, I'm going to be nerding out about this the entire time, <laughs> but it's just like fascinating, dude. At least to me, at least to me, that absolutely fascinates me. Okay, enough bubbles. Let's move on. I'm gonna avoid the chain chomp. That whole area is just, is just trouble. <laughs> it's just trouble. Just max out the settings. Maybe, maybe we will chat. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll just crank it up to the max and see uh, how bad things can really get. Also, all the shadows extend like how they should. Like we see the, the light or the, like the sun, the the light, the light object. The sun is over there. The coins are there. So the the shadow of the coins, wherever it was. It was back there. Will actually appear as it like properly should. Again, just absolutely crazy. But yeah, pretty much. Uh, so my my friend let me borrow his. It's a I think it's a 2070. I think to run this game at a steady 60, you probably need a like a at least a 3000 series card. So so moral of the story, Chad, is we need to. I need to. I need to upgrade. Because <laughs> I still, again, I'm, uh, uh, my card. I tried running this and it did run it. But um, without like actual ray tracing, because I, I I normally have a 1080 Ti, so my friend let me borrow this uh, 2070, which has actual ray tracing. Again, I'm a layman when it comes to this stuff, so I don't know how I could still run it without ray tracing. I'm not sure how that works. But, uh, but yeah. Oh man, even the even the crown, even the crown is properly reflect reflecting the light. That's so cool, man. I mean, it's, it's small details, but like stuff like that is just incredible. Among Us? <laughs> what's up? What's up, Greg? RTX Mario goes modern science. Dude, I think we've peaked as humanity with this. I don't know if things can get... I legit... I mean, I think they're still planning on updating this a bunch. But uh, I don't know how it... Like, I just can't imagine it getting better than this. Like, this already looks incredible. Can you stop? Can you stop, sir? There we go. So HD, like honestly, so cool, man. I this, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like. I obviously I want to get a 3080 or a TI. I was, I was kind of like debating if I want to wait to get one, but if, if that means I can play this in like 60 frames steady, dude, I might just need to get a 3080 or a 3090 at this point. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's move on. Maybe I'll just do like a. No, I was like, I want to see most of the stages. I, I was gonna say I want to do a 16 star run, but you end up skipping a lot of the stages. So we'll kind of do like a few stars in every stage in this mod. And then I do want to check out the uh, uh, the vanilla. So this, again, this is the Render 96 uh, PC port version with with um, with ray tracing. But I want to do the vanilla game with ray tracing as well. So yeah, even, even here, like the candles, whatever you want to call those, the lights, also give off their own natural light. All the coins, Mario's shadows are reflecting accordingly. So good. So good. I keep forgetting where to do that the the, the weenie hut junior skip there so good i really i really want to do like a c compare and contrast to like just the regular game emulated and see uh how much it changes because like it's hard it's, it's hard to sometimes to appreciate it when they're not like side by side um but even like this also i think just makes render 96 like i like render 96 as it is in general but i think this just makes it look that much better you know all right, let's check out the snow stage. Snow stages should have a lot of light, especially re reflecting with uh, from the, the the ice and snow. And 
and I believe ice, I believe water and ice also reflect how they should in real life. Um, in, in, like, again, in real life. And I wish my webcam wasn't stuttering. That's the only thing I really wish wasn't happening. Also, certain areas, I saw this when I was testing it, certain areas will actually have, like, shade like they should. So if we skip down here, like, normally this place is a little bit more lit up, but in reality, since no light actually gets here, based on where the sun is on the stage, it is more appropriately dark here. For better or for worse, honestly, it makes it look not as good when it's dark, but it makes sense because there's no actual light source getting here, you know? So, like, for example, this... This might not look as good. Uh, not Sorry, not as good. It's just... It looks not as good when it's dark rather than when it's lit up in the game, in the regular game, but it makes sense, you know? It makes sense for it to be... For it to be dark. I'm trying to think what other... Uh, I mean, I do have save files that are complete, so we might just, like, I don't want to play through the whole game twice. <laughs> I mean, we did that yesterday, which we got a PB. Yesterday's PB was pretty slick. Uh, and I wonder if, if it's not, um, if it won't be Render 96, if it'll be less intensive on my computer. I, I don't know. Maybe it will. Let's see if this looks any different. It's just like, uh, yeah, you, I think you guys can see it in 60 frames, right? At least the, the gameplay. It just looks so crisp looks so crisp we'll take the shortcut here and again the the uh the hd textures make it look oh, sorry I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be gushing this entire stream even the even the one-ups like the little sparkles on the one-ups give off their own uh give off their own light so cool so cool man also thank you guys for watching 650 viewers let's go i didn't real i didn't i haven't checked viewership for a while that's awesome thank you guys hope you're enjoying the stream consider becoming a member if you are the baby is still very proud of me. D the baby or the baby convertible? Looks less than 60. Uh, it should be near 60. Again, it's not it's not a steady 60. Even when I'm playing, like when I get to certain areas that require more uh, more uh, computing power, I guess when there's more uh, more actors on stage or more uh, effects. Like I'm sure the, the even the snow probably has some sort of effect. Uh, on how much computing power is being used. But uh, it's probably jumping between like 50 and 60. Again, honestly, running this is probably like more intensive. Sorry, don't quote me on that. It's very intensive. I was going to say more intensive than most like modern games, but that might not be true. Please. Okay, nice. I'm from Brazil. Welcome from Brazil. Lethal Lavaland? I have a feeling Lethal Lavaland is going to be really really laggy. I feel like, because I don't know, I don't know if the lava gives off its own light. Because in real life, I think lava, yeah, it gives off its own light, right? So I wonder if it will in this. I think I, because I, again, I tested it with my own graphics card a couple days ago. So it wasn't true, it wasn't true ray tracing or whatever. Again, I don't know how that works when it's like my 1080 Ti, it's a GTX card. It doesn't have ray tracing, but it still ran the game. I don't know. Also, I just noticed the, the reflections on the star door. Even the reflections, chat, on the star door are, like, actually reflecting. Oh, my God. We got First, we had the doorknobs. Now, we have the uh, now we have the uh, the star door. That's nuts, dude. That is nutty. Okay, Womp's Fortress. I'm trying to think what would be interesting. Oh, water. Okay, we haven't, seen, we haven't really seen water yet. Let's see what that looks like. So cool, man. So, yeah, you can actually see, like, Mario's reflection in the water getting like diffused i guess how it actually would I'm trying to get a good angle of it. it might be tough at least to zoom in put your faces closer to the screen chat <laughs> so yeah you can see like apparently and i guess it depends how shallow the water is but normally of course the water does not reflect in uh in the regular version of this game That's so cool man it's all again, all the textures. I'm gonna be repeating the same stuff like the entire stuff because I'm just like amazed by this. Is even this reflecting properly? It is. Even like the the blue the blue top thing of the switch. We can see Mario's head. We can see the top. We can see the the bricks above us. That's so cool, man. So cool. There we go. I, I also love how the stars have their own their own shine. The 1080 Ti can technically do ray tracing, but it isn't strong enough to do it smoothly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I guess it does run it. So I guess it has, like, the... 
because I think the minimum, so for those that are interested in playing this themselves, I think the minimum graphics card you have to have, I believe, is a GTX 1660. I believe that's the absolute minimum you need to run this game. Um, so I guess, yeah, like you guys said, I guess the 1080, 1080Ti can run it, just not as smoothly. But look at this, dude. Just the lighting. It just, like, again, it's hard to appreciate if you're not looking at it side by side from the original game. But look at this, dude. We can see how the lighting is different on that wall compared to that one. And it just makes it look so much more realistic. So cool, man. I guess, uh, King, King Womp's shadow here also, also is made in made realistic look at this dude unfortunately we can still clip through him so that's <laughs> that that part's not realistic my favorite video from you is knuckles chaotix lost bits nice uh, i know a lot of people like that video didn't do super well view wise but i'm glad i'm glad there's a bunch of you that enjoyed it that much it, exactly it feels like with this it feels like everything has so much more depth that is a good way of putting it i mean like i think the textures have a lot to do with that too just like even if you ran this normally with the HD textures just makes it look better in general but I think that's a good way of putting it everything has depth it's not just like the same lighting on different walls and stuff everything looks I guess just more real like I guess yeah more realistic is the best way of putting it Let's see what toad looks like with with RTX on chat like well, that looks so good man I'm gonna so when I make this into a video I'm probably gonna put like screenshots of these characters or gameplay of these characters like beside them to compare what they look like it just looks so good we can even see the, the, the writing on the other textures and stuff. All right, let's go check out uh, JRB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my personalized copy of Mario 64, and it just happens to have such good graphics. <laughs> it just happens to have such crazy graphics. I keep forgetting, actually. I don't even need to load a file. I can just warp to any stage with this with PC port. I don't know if we'll see anything crazy here. I mean, the lighting looks really good, obviously. We can see also when it overlaps, like it does get brighter when it overlaps with other light sources. That's really cool. I don't know if we'll see too much here though. It's pretty basic looking stuff here. Let's uh, warp to Dry Roger Bay. Let's do it. Gotta love PC port chat. <laughs> you can just literally do stuff like that. Also for the first star in this stage, um, for those that don't know, it's like, it's more foggy and stuff. We can actually see the fog so much like clearer and better. The water, okay, I'm just gonna like, take time to like go first person and look how the water's reflecting stuff. But look how the water's actually reflecting all the platforms and the uh, stalag tights. I always got that wrong and people always click correct me. <laughs> I always interchange stalagmites and stalactites. Um, but anyway, you can see them reflecting off the water. And it, just in general, the stage just looks 20 times better. I have a feeling it's gonna lag a lot just cause it, cause of us being in water. But hopefully not too much. I wonder if like the deeper you go, the darker it gets. It might not though. Let's see. All right, pal, get out of there. <laughs> I kind of want to go inside the ship too. I don't know if I want to go. I guess I'll have time to go inside the ship and the cave. Uh, I just want to see what they look. If there's any light sources there that just make it look so much better. But yeah, I don't know. This is really motivating me to get a 30. I want to get a 3090 chat. They're just so expensive. It's like in Canada, it's like $2,200. And it's like, I obviously want that. But that is a lot of money for a graphics card. That is a lot of money. Is there anything crazy in here, chat? No, it looks really good. But there's no really cool lighting effects here to be seen. Uh, let's try again. Let's, let's. I want to go to the cave. Uh, sorry, warp to level. Jolly Roger Bay. Sunken ship. Oh, okay. oh I could have just warped sunken ship. Oops, okay. Uh, let's go to... Sure, let's try that one. I thought the fog was only there for the first star. Because something changes, doesn't it? Between when you get the first star? I mean, I, I usually skip JRB in, when I speedrun. But, uh... For some reason, I thought, like, the it kind of changed. It gets brighter after you do the first star. Maybe you actually have to, like, get it. I'm not sure how that works. Let's check out the cave. What's up, Comet Turquoise? YOLO get the graphics card? I'll need to start like a GoFundMe on stream chat. <laughs> oh man. I'd like to, it's just a lot of money. I like, cause like, that's, that's my, that's my conundrum. Okay, nothing, actually I mean like, sorry, let me get, let me get back on talking with the shadows here. Let's, let's, uh, let's gawk over all these shadows, how they move in real time. Oh my God. Um, but I was gonna say like the 1080, 
it's like half the price. So it's like, I don't, oops, I don't know if I want to, if I can justify spending double the price for a 10, uh, 30, sorry, 390 over a 3080. Who knows? <laughs> What's up, Shed Ninja? But yeah, look at this. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna, I guess this doesn't really make sense how the star is giving off its own shadow. I mean, the light source is probably placed above it or something. So that, that technically doesn't make sense. Unless there's another light source somewhere higher. Hard to say. But I just love that the stars each give off their own glow. So cool. And I love how it like moves around in real time. So cool, man. <sighs> He's not noticing the sign texture as words. Yes, I did notice that. Uh, let's take a look at some of them. Like, like I said that earlier. You can, you can like actually like kind of make out what they have. It, it is just scribbles. At least that one has scribbles. Um, but uh, yeah, the signs do have. You can kind of read them. I think it's I think it's just gibberish though, if I recall correctly. Anyway, uh, look how good this lobby looks, man. Look how good this looks. Look how good this looks, chat. So good. Super RTX 64. Man, I really want to get a better graphics card now. <laughs> Should I do a chat? Should I do a chat? Is that SGI more? Yes. Yeah, so Render 96, they, uh, the whole, the whole shebang behind Render 96. Oh, oh, Peach's, sorry, hang on guys. I'm going to be like going off topic, but even Peach's painting gives off light. It makes this hallway look so good. Let's see that again, chat. Look how good this hallway looks. Look how good this hallway looks. Look, look how good this looks. Look how good that looks. It didn't transform to Bowser. That's weird. <laughs> but, any sorry, um, what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say, but smash the like button. Consider becoming a channel member. Check out G Fuel. Last day to save 30% is tomorrow. Check it out. Links in the description. Anyways, um, yeah, I need to start a GoFundMe to get a new graphics card. Or I should just YOLO. <laughs> what do you think, chat? Yo, Eve K, hang on. Let's, let's appreciate the, how the fire also gives off its own light. So cool, man. So cool. Even this platform is reflecting. The platform we're standing on is actually like reflective. Are you kidding? Oh my god, dude. I should have just titled the stream Nerd, Nerd, uh, or Geek Nerds Out About uh, Mario 64 being ray traced for, for however long this takes. Look, dude, this whole thing is like a shiny emerald. It almost looks invisible, but it's like I thought. I thought it was like invisible. I'm like, why is it like see-through? But it's actually like reflecting the skybox. The amps have their own lighting. Uh, all these things are like reflective. So good, man. So good. Okay, let's see, what, let's see how Bowser looks, chat. Let's see what Bowser looks like. Can I do a BLJ? Sure. We'll do a BLJ towards the end, chat. I do want to switch. I do want to switch to the vanilla so you guys can see what the, the vanilla looks like without the uh, Render 96 models as well. It has a really cool look to it as well. It kind of makes it look like a like a paper craft. That was a crisp audio file. Uh, it makes it it makes it look like a diorama, like paper craft diorama. So cool. Also, Bowser looks really good here. Look at these models. Oh, sorry. What I was saying earlier is uh, someone asked if it's SGI Mario. So yeah, Render 96 whole shebang is that they make the models look as near as possible to all the promotional artwork, all the all the old renders in like the late 90s. Holy shit, Bowser looks creepy. That was very crisp. That was very crisp. All right, uh, let's move on. Let's go. Oh, Big Boo's Haunt. That's one stage I have not checked out yet. But that, that hallway looks so good. Hallway looks so good. And again, if anyone's wondering why my webcam's so laggy today, again, this running this game, streaming it, and recording footage at the same time is actually like running my <laughs> is bleeding my PC dry for resources right now. Oh, I need 15 stars first. Oops. Uh, I mean, I can just warp there. Let's just warp there. We're not we're not speed running today. We're just we're just yoloing. It's whatever. Uh, we did cool cool mountain. Let's do. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, I have a feeling this stage is gonna be choppy too. There's gonna be a lot of like fires and stuff to render. We got the nice moonlight. Look at this chat. Look how good the mansion looks. The skybox actually looks like something, not just garbage. <laughs> we got scuttlebugs. 
What's up, Ayla Weldon? Hi, who's subscribed? Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Look at this dude. I wonder if he reflects. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's reflecting anything. Kind of. It's refle reflecting light, but not like in real time. Show Ella's real. Yeah, we got to check that out too. Good point. Good point. The lobby. All the lights have their own uh, lighting here too. It makes it look a little bit more creepy, actually. It kind of looks like a proper haunted house, you know? Let's go check out the uh, the creepy piano. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> in with RTX. Oh, 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 actually, it's reflecting. Are you kidding? The piano chat is actually reflective. Look at the look at the top. The audio is definitely glitching out, but look at the top. I wonder if I can see it from up here. Hang on. Uh, I probably won't be able to see it from here. Anyway. So cool, man. Let's get this. <laughs> it's so laggy, though. Oh, okay, I'm not going to make that jump. Let's keep exploring. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know why that room is so choppy. As soon as I leave it, it looks so much better. Um, I'm trying to think of any other rooms I want to explore in Big Boo's Haunt. Where can I get Render96? Uh, Google Render96. I'm sure you'll find the link to their Discord. Um, and they'll have instructions there. You got to provide your own legally obtained ROM of the game. It's only caveat. <laughs> F and F RTX on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the stage looks like from uh, up top here. Look at this dude. Look how good Boo looks. I guess even if it's like reflecting the light naturally, look. Like, you can see like the glow, the glow on the back of uh, of Big Boo there. Briefly, briefly, but that was still cool. Imagine the final. Oh yeah, the Rainbow Bowser. Hell yeah, I'm excited to see that. Nice. Um, Here we go. I guess I'm going to check out the, the merry-go-round. I don't know if there's anything else I necessarily want to... Oh, yeah, let's check out the Ella's Real. Let's see, what it, <laughs> let's see what it looks like with the HD textures. Oh, no, they made it still look very ambiguous. <laughs> They're just like, we can't, we can't make it one thing or another. We got to make it still very ambiguous. It doesn't look like Eternal Star. It doesn't look like Ella's Real. It just looks like scribbles. <laughs> still looks really cool, though. All right, uh, let's go back. Warp to level. Can I warp to the... No, okay. So you can only warp to sub areas. I was going to say, can I warp just to the... Oh, hang on. Can I warp just to the merry-go-round? Oops. God dang it. Warp to level, merry-go-round, warp. There we go. It should look kind of cool because it'll have, like, fire effects. It should have pretty nice lighting. I guess let's see what it looks like. Okay, Mr. Eye is still kind of scuffed. I guess the model isn't where the eye is. That's kind of weird. I don't know why that was a thing. That was kind of strange. Uh, let's see. Also, hang on. I'm curious. Actually, I won't do it here. Actually, I will do it here. I lied. Uh, I'm curious. Chat. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> I'm curious how this will this will affect it. We'll just play as, we'll play as big Mario for a bit. How do I get this? It's a long, like it's it's a long answer chat. You'll have to definitely check out how to do PC port stuff. You have to know how to compile the game and all that stuff. Um, so it's a long answer. I, can, I of course can't answer it in a simple stream. Uh, just look into like how to do the PC port. Also, uh, caveat: you have to have a really strong PC to run this. <laughs> anyway, look how good those boos look. Look how good, chat gamers. Look how good this looks. This actually looks like a triple A 2021 game. Honestly, I don't know if a game that came out this year looks better. Obviously, I'm biased, but this looks so good. And it just goes, just goes to show you how much lighting affects a game, how it looks, visuals. You can have simple looking visuals. I mean, this is this is with Render 96 still, so like the, the models are a bit more complicated. But this goes to show how, how important lighting is to a game. Look how good this looks. So good, chat. So good. The boo looks like it should be censored. RTX on. <laughs> I love how I put in the title. Like, actually, though, because like people are gonna be like thinking it's clickbait. Nah, dude, we're we're serious. We're for serious here. Look, man. Oh my god. Again, even the shadows are like half on Mario, half off Mario. Like when you're standing in the right spot. Just looks so good. Let's let's return to regular size though. 
Uh, there should be Tidy Mario. All right, uh, what's next? Let's go to the basement, chat. Let's go check out the basement. I guess Mips, Mips doesn't appear until you have, how many stars do you need for Mips? I can't remember. Look at that keyhole, even the keyhole. Oh my God, dude, I can't, I can't, I can't even with this game right now. All right, the fire here looking pretty nice, pretty clean. Uh, let's check out the shifting sand line first. I guess let's do them in, not the right order, but like the order I do them in speedruns, minus uh, I guess we'll go to Hazy Maze Cave earlier. All right. Look how good this looks. I mean, again, part of it is just having the high quality textures, but the lighting still makes a big difference. Compared to like how bland, oh, here's a sign you guys wanted me to see it. Compared to how bland this level looks normally. <laughs> yeah, so you can't really see it. You can kind of make out the word Mario. There's like a capital M, maybe even capital W. It could be Wario. But most of it's just, uh, just gibberish. So, I mean, it's hard. It's like, uh, yeah. I, I can't make it out. <laughs> I mean, maybe it does. Like, you, maybe it says, like, I, if I had to guess, it would be like, I am helping Mario something something with my eyes something. So it's hard to read, but that's, like, my best take. And the last one says Among Us. Got him. The last line said Among Us. XD, big, epic, funny meme. All right. It is a bit harder to tell apart the uh, quicksand areas, though. That's for sure. There are a lot, like all the textures look the same. I think normally it's a lot easier to, to tell them apart. This part's definitely looking better with the red, the red uh, quicksand. That definitely, this sand is moving fast, dude. Holy crap, it looks like it's moving super fast. I do want to check out the, uh, the little oasis back there too. Look how good, oh, these shadows, dude. These shadows. Oop. Proper reflections here. Interestingly not. Interestingly not, chat. All right, let's go up into the... Uh, I mean, this stage is pretty small. We'll kind of see everything we need to see here pretty fast. Let's start up from the... Actually... Yeah, I don't know. We'll start from the top and work our way down. I don't know if we don't necessarily need to start from the bottom. Oh, something is... Something is... Something is very glitchy here. What the hell? Oh, my God. The lighting here, Kate. Okay, lighting here is pretty scuffed. I don't know if it's from the star. I guess photosensitivity warning. I don't know if it's a star that's causing this, but it's pretty... I don't know. It's definitely something else. Okay, maybe we won't go back there. Something something was in there was flickering a little bit too much, <laughs> and I didn't like it. Okay, let's get out of there. Whew. Well, that was uh, Shifting Sandland. Let's check out the long-awaited Lethal Lava Land. Maybe we'll do like one star per level, and then because I, I do want... I still want to show off the, uh, the vanilla version. Okay, surprisingly, this is running pretty smooth. I thought this was going to be like... Very choppy considering the lava. I don't know if the lava is giving off its own light. It's hard to say. Uh, this level looks so good. This level looks so good. Mr. Eye is still a bit scuffed. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Eye. But look how good the rest of this looks. So good. Oh, I don't have wing cap yet. I guess we gotta go to the wing cap stage still. Can't do. Oops. Can't do. Uh, what you call it? The uh, cage skip. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Not epic. Even this is reflective? Look how good this looks. Look how good the, the Bowser uh, texture looks on these. Also, it's reflective apparently. We can see like Mario's reflection. We can see the coin reflection. So cool. I don't know why I ground pounded there. Bullies, I don't wanna talk about them. We got Blarg. For those that don't know, Blarg is a cut enemy. That they added back into Render 96. Look at this dude. I hate bullies. Go pound dirt, idiot. The game might be running smooth. It cost my bitrate and frame rate. Yeah, I don't know if my bit rate's bad. My bitrate should be okay. I haven't seen any warnings about it yet. Um, yeah, my stream's still outputting at 6,000 bitrate. I think it's just my it's just my webcam. It's running in like 20, maybe even less than 20 frames, maybe 15. But again, I don't. I honestly don't know if that's because of the game, or it's because I plugged it into the wrong USB port, or it's because I'm using a different graphics card for the first time. Uh, could be, it could be a bunch of different factors. Check out the volcano, though. Also, what's up, Chuck? Um, Blargs are supposed to be unused. I'm confused at that statement. Are you are you saying you wouldn't want them re-added? Strange. Uh, T-Tech Trab. 
Oh, I said the right. Thank you for the $5 super chat. That's going towards my uh, 3080 Ti uh, fund. <laughs> Thank you. Where is the light source here? It looks like it's coming from the middle. So maybe the lava is giving off its own light. It definitely looks like it's coming from the center. Look how good this looks, chat. Just, just take a minute, take a deep breath, and absorb what we're looking at. Look how good this looks. Could be all three of those. It could be, because I'm also run, run, running the game, recording, streaming, running my camera. <laughs> just so much stuff. Running four monitors. There's just so much strain on my graphics card, probably, and everything. My whole computer is just getting pushed to the limit. Oh my god. Every, every like, I guess those fire things are definitely eating up resources as well. Gotta avoid that. Yo. Yo. Somehow survive. Look at these shadows. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. I used to say just PC port was the best way to, way to play this game, but this is bar none. Obviously, like, it stutters a bunch, but if you have the means to get a really good graphics card, this is by far the best way to play this game. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Honestly, if you took a screenshot of this, I wouldn't... If you took a screenshot of this and showed it to someone in, like, late 90s, it would look probably almost better than a render of that time. Like, honestly, it's hard, it's hard to differentiate what's render... Like, from that period of time, render versus this game. Obviously, renders nowadays are better, but because they cause they take a lot more processing power. But look, oh, just so good. So good. Can I get higher RTX? Yeah, so for those that missed earlier, I'm running this at, uh, like, probably about a third of what you can for the resolution. So you can bump up the resolution. I don't know what Sphere Lights and Global Illumination technically does. I, I can kind of, like, guess, but I haven't disabled because I think whenever I enabled it, it caused it to lag a bit more. Um... But yeah, so you, you can push this even more. It's just, I think this is the limit of what my graphics card can handle currently. Let's see if this is reflecting properly. It appears to be. I just want to see if I can see Mario's uh, reflection at any point. So normally, for those that don't know, this just uses, I, I believe this uses normally the same texture as Mario's metal cap. I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, here it appears to actually be reflecting the room. Which is insane. It's insane. It's crazy. Playing on KFC console? Yahoo! Bruh, how did you know? I mean, normally I hate the stage, but I'm not gonna lie, it does look a lot better. <laughs> oh god, okay. Oh, how good this looks. I wanna go into that room. So, uh, there's that infamous, not infamous, but like very well known, I guess famous, um, render of Metal Mario that's taken in like a staged version of this, of this course. I'll have to go to that area and see if we can recreate it. I don't know if there's a metal cap in that area normally, though. Uh, let's not get that star. Let's just try to go for... Uh, let's go down to Dory first. Actually, I can't decide what I want to do. <laughs> let's go to the main room first, and then we'll do, we'll do the Dory skip and go downstairs. Uh, am I running? This is... Uh, I'm borrowing my friend's 2070 RTX. Because my, my own graphics card is a 1080 Ti. So... And it, it ran this game, too. Just not as well, I guess. Um, so I wanted the full experience. I mean, obviously the full experience, I need a 3090, which I do want to get. But um, hopefully one day. So I don't think I don't think there's a metal cap in here, but yeah. So there is an infamous like I hate seeing it infamous in the wrong context. But there's a famous screenshot from this area with Metal Mario. I don't think we can recreate it though, because I think I think that where they rendered it is like a staged kind of thing. Still, this looks pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go down to Dory. Let's see what that's all about. Doom bit, doom bit, doom bit. Love your content, Tetra. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. About a 1070 yourself. Nice. 1070 is your pog. So I think if you want to run this, I think the minimum it says is a 1660. So I think a 1700, or sorry, 1070 is, I believe, better. Or it can still run it, rather. Uh, please, Mario. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, please. Okay, still made it. <laughs> still made it. Oh my god, look how good this looks! Look how good just Dory looks. Dory actually looks like a <laughs> like an actual thing, not a bunch of blocks thrown together. Yo, gamers. I have draw distance turned on, like it's very low, so we can see like all the other objects still loaded in, in the distance. That's funny. Dude, Dory, okay, I wanna hang on. I wanna get up on that island and look back at Dory. Wheezing. 
Okay, hang on. Dory, come here. Come here. Look how good Dory looks, man. Look. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. So good. Comparing to what Dory normally looks like, some like, looks like a dinosaur just made of a bunch of random polygons. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Oh, I want a 3090 graphics card. Oh, why? For Cyberpunk? I was, see, my, my idea at first was I actually wanted to get a 3090 and my, my video title would be like, I spent 2,000 whatever amount of dollars to play Mario 64, <laughs> which I think would be like such a good title and thumbnail. But the problem is you got to find a 3090, which is in itself really hard to do because of the dang scalpers chat. Let's grab that. That'd be so funny. I spent $2,000 to play a 25 year old game. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Look how good this looks. All right, moving on. Uh, what's the next stage, chat? Before I gawk over the stuff too much. Hazy Maze we did. Lethal Lull we did. Shifting we did. Dire, dire docks. Let us do it. Let us do it. Oh my god, that skybox looks clean. All right. I don't know if there's going to be anything cool in this area. It's kind of just another... I, I mean, like, swing in the water areas. There's usually not too many lighting effects outside if we can see the cool uh, shadows of the coins. But, um, yeah, nothing really crazy, I guess. Uh, Lighting-wise, that's what I'm trying to say. Can I please swim over that? Thank you. Try doing a BLJ. We'll do a BLJ uh, towards the end, chat. You can look, you can, that's what you can look forward to. You can look forward to the, to the BLJ action. Okay, let's see what this looks like up here on the submarine. I mean, the water still looks really good. The water in general. Also, this looks very good. I was not expecting this to look this good. I mean, like, the lighting on the wall. I want to get on the subs and get a better uh, better angle here, but... Actually, let's go. I want to... Let's go. Let's do this the normal way. We're not speedrunning, chat. Let's, uh, let's activate the blocks. I want to see how all that looks with the lighting. So crisp. So crisp. Uh, did you ever do a FNAF Lost Bits? I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I did. I, I covered FNAF 1 through... S 5 or 6. I, I think I released it, like... Right before six came out, or I released it like right before another game came out. I don't know if it was six or a sister location or whatever, but anyway, look how good this looks. This looks so damn good. Oh, and the shadows on the block. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Again, hard to appreciate, but I play this game like way too much, so this is just like this is like literally game changing. If only, I mean, like, there's. Nintendo wouldn't be able to make something this good for the next probably like at least 10 years considering where their hardware is right now to be able to run this But like this is what I wish Obviously it'd be like a, it's a pipe dream. Obviously like hardware is definitely not there But this is what I wish like a Super Mario 64 HD re-release would be like Like look we're even reflecting off the the tie like the marble floor here It's hard to see but we are reflecting on it very like I mean that's cool I mean that's cool that we the different surfaces reflect differently as well like some surfaces are definitely more reflective some are not as reflective. Obviously, this blue, uh, this, the entrance to Dire Dire Docks is giving off its own light, which is super cool. It makes, it makes this uh, Wario Apparition hallway look super cool. So let's go back and glance at it. it. Makes it look more ominous, of course. I see a, I see a Wario Apparition uh, <laughs> spawning in the distance. Yo, what's up, Achilles? Uh, let's, let's go back to... Uh, I want to go back to... Tower of the Wing Cap, before I forget. This looks so good. <laughs> I say that about every stage, but it truly does. HPR, is this even Mario 64? This is Mario 65, my dude. We have reached Mario 65 levels at this point. Look how good this looks, man. Honestly, this might be the best looking thing so far. I mean, it's it's a very bright, obviously we're like in the sky, so obviously the lighting is very good. That coin was twitching out hella hard. But the lighting here looks just so good. Good. Thank you for the super chat as well, HPR. I appreciate it. Every super chat this stream is going towards my uh, 30, 30 new graphics card fund. Here we go. Can Nintendo take this down? No. Uh, as long as you're not pirating your ROM of Mario 64, the PC port is 110% legal. 
because it is recreated. You're compiling your own copy of the game. Again, it only becomes illegal if you pirate the game online. If you if you get someone else's someone else's ROM of the game, that's when it becomes illegal. The PC port, everything that uses the the decompilation of Super Mario 64, 100% legal. That's why when they release this stuff, they release it without the ROM. So you need to provide your own legally obtained ROM to run any of this stuff, which is what what makes it what makes it legal. On that note, let's move on. Let's go to Bowser 2. Let's go to Bowser 2 chat. Uh, we did Bowser 1. Let's go Bowser in the Fire Sea. See how this looks. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. It looks so good. I can't even look at it, chat. Super Mario 74. All right. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. It's just making me so happy. Make, this gives me so much joy playing this 25 year old game but it looks better than i mean i'm playing on pc but honestly i don't think you could run this even even with like current gen like xbox series x or ps5 you could probably run it but not as not at these high up settings i don't think I, I believe both those consoles have ray tracing abilities but i don't i don't even know what resolution i'm running this at I don't know if I'm running it at higher than 1080 or not. Not sure. Genuinely not sure, gamers. This looks so I mean, all the bright levels just look so much better. I guess that's that's what I'm noticing now. Is like whenever it's like a dark section of the of this, which it makes sense. We're, we're ray tracing light. We're recreating how light works. Uh, so darker stuff isn't gonna look as pretty. But every time there's like a lot of lighting, oh, it looks so good. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the skip. And it didn't work. And it didn't work part two. Am I alive? Somehow I'm alive, but will I be alive for long? I don't think so. I don't think I'll be alive for long, gamers. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just warp to Bowser 2. Let's just warp to Bowser 2. <laughs> we got we got most of that done. Let's go to Bowser 2. Uh, warp to level, Bowser 2. If you're running this on a 2070, you can 100% run this on a PS5. I, I mean, you probably could. 2070 is definitely better than a PS5. Uh, believe, because PS5 runs an AMD. It's like a ver version of an AMD something. I don't know if it's a 50. No, it's not a 5700 XT. I'm not sure what a PS5 is running. But most PS5 games can't even run. 4K at 30 yet. So maybe you could run, maybe you could run it at 1080p 30 or 1080p 60, but I don't think you could run it at these levels just yet. Yahoo! Could be wrong, but I don't believe so. Especially with ray tracing, that's the thing. A lot of PS5 games don't use too much ray tracing yet, as far as I understand. I don't have one, so I I don't really know myself, but from what I understand. Uh, let's see. Warp to level. What's next? Uh, can't think. Uh, let's go to... Hang on. Let's go to the... I want to check out the... I don't want to go to the stage itself. I mean, I do. I just want to go to the... Uh, I want to go to... I want to see what the, the floor looks like first, though. Ligma? Yo, Chad, do you guys know Candace? Chad, do you guys know Candace? How many of you guys in chat know who Candace is? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. The Mad Piano's Nightmare Fuel? Absolutely. I have a virtual console on the Wii U of this game, but not a physical version. Nice. I mean, the physical version... I mean, the Wii U version's like 10 bucks. The physical version's like... 40, so it's definitely definitely a big price difference for sure. Uh, so this is the first stage. This is the first stage. Uh, that was shown off publicly. So uh, when I'm gonna sorry, I forgot the name again. I gotta check again. <laughs> when who did it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Dario. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. When Dario first showed this off, I, I believe it was like October or November of last year. This was the first stage that they showed off. This itself, just like, look how much more lively this looks. 
no normally a pretty boring stage. I know a lot of people don't really like the stage. It just looks a lot better. It looks miles better, chat. We got these fellas. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can also, I mean, I don't want to do it now. We could, I mean, I don't know if I have a file with Wario and Luigi unlocked. So render 96, you can unlock Luigi and Wario. Um, I don't know if I want to do that again. That might take, that might take a little bit of time. Look how good this looks, dude. Oh my god. They actually, and they also uh, re uh, got the full text, full resolution of the texture for the skybox, obviously. Also, Mr. Carmo, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Who's Candace? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. I don't know who Candace is. You guys keep asking me if I know Candace. Have I heard of a new energy drink, E10? That's crazy, dude. Uh, is that a new uh, G Fuel drink, E10? E10, this G Fuel, XD got him. Yo, look how good this looks. Also, what's up, Nathan? Look how good the skybox looks. Hang on, can we get into a higher spot? I mean, uh, here, let's uh, let's warp back to the stage. Uh, but with the level at the highest point. Is this the highest Yahoo! point? This isn't the highest point. I guess it was high, not highest. Highest, there we go. Oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Oh, look how good the water looks. Oh my god. Let's look at the skybox for a sec. For those that didn't watch my short video, we found the, the true origin of this texture. That's why it's so high res. D's nuts. Got him. <laughs> XD got him. Look how flipping good this looks, dude. Oh. It looks like, I mean, it legitimately looks photorealistic at this point. It's almost kind of trippy. Like, it almost, <laughs> it looks like almost fake at this point. Oh my god, dude. Look how good that looks. Anyway, that's not a, that's not a part of the ray tracing. That's just the high high res uh, textures, but but still. Regardless. Let's go check out the, the secret underwater city that gives off negative emotional aura. How to install this? It's a long answer chat. You'll have to research how to do the PC port. It's not, and this one's not even, like, you'll have to, this one you have to compile manually um, with Render 96. You can't do it with the PC port builder just yet. Um, so it is a long answer. I would recommend, if you want to check this out, dump your own Super Mario 64 ROM and uh, check out uh, the, how to, how to compile PC ports. Looks so real, it looks fake. We're, we're, we've come full circle. We've come full circle. Things are looking so real that they look fake at this point. I don't think you can call this RTX, it's just a HD. No, you are 100% wrong. You are, you're just factually wrong. This is, this is actually ray traced. 100% wrong. 110% wrong, chat. That's how wrong these people are. Uh, I don't have Vanish Cap yet, do I? Yeah, let's go to the tallest part of the city hall, church, whatever it is. Let's see, let's have a good overview. I mean, I could turn on Moon Jump. I could turn on Moon Jump chat. We could be in for a good time. And let's see. Sounding like a SMG4 video right there. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's let's browse. Let's browse chat. Looking pretty spiff. Looking pretty spiffy. This will be Mario in 2013. This truly will be Mario in the year 2013. Can, you, can Mario stop grabbing the walls? Hello. I mean, I'm, I'm more fascinated by the shadows more than anything, typically. Such a nice combo. Such a nice combo. All right, let's move on. What's next? Uh, we skipped Snowman's Line. Let's do that. Nintendo, hire this man. Nintendo, please. Oh, we can actually finally see ice. I don't know if uh, Kuku Mountain has proper ice. We can, Mario actually reflects in this ice, too. That's not even what I was going to show off, but... We can see Mario's reflection here too. It's kind of almost creepy. We can see like several, it's like a maze or like the, the mirror mazes or whatever, where you see like several versions of yourself. I don't know why I got the star. I didn't need to, but I want to, uh, um,
check out the rest of that stage. <clears throat> I love if people refer to ray tracing as ray tracing instead of the copyrighted marketing term RTX from Let's NVIDIA. Maybe as soon as other graphics card can run ray tracing a little bit better. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Doesn't really matter. I, I don't know. I don't know why it matters. Whether it's RTX or ray tracing, it, it, it's become synonymous. Can I say Jo Jo Mama? Jo Mama? All right, chat. This is the ice I was talking about. So here we can also clearly see Mario's reflection. And the star's reflection. Again, keep in mind it's not just Mario. Literally, the entire thing is being reflected. So cool. All right, let's go to the top of the snowman. I almost said Iceman. I don't know why I said thought of saying Iceman. That was weird. Let's go to the top of the snowman. Of of whomst this is his land. We are on snowman's land. <laughs> Boom roasted. Does he have a NASA PC? I wish. I mean, my PC is good. Uh, my, my, I'm using, again, a 10, a 2070. My, my act, like, my personal, my personal graphics card is a, uh, why am I going this way? <laughs> my personal graphics card is a 1080, so it's, it's probably, like, four years, now, four years old now. Maybe even longer now. Uh, so I think I'm due for an upgrade. But I just don't know if I want to get the 3080 or 3090 or, for, wait, for the next series of cards. Or if I want to, uh, oh, are you doing the moonwalk? Or if I want to... Get the 3080. I'm, I'm so indecisive right now when it comes to the graphics cards. Can't decide. What console? I'm playing this on an Atari 2600. I just overclocked my Atari uh, to, <laughs> to make it run. Sorry, no. Uh, a joke aside, I'm playing on PC. There's a huge difference between 1080 and 1080 Ti. State. That's true. That is true. Did I say 1080? 1080 Ti. 1080, that's something I, I mean, I'm fine with my 1080 Ti. It's serving me, it's still serving me really well. It runs most of my games as much as I need them. Um, so, like, upgrading is, like, a nice to have. I definitely don't need to. Unless I want to play Mario 64 uh, Ray Traced in Steady 60, which I kind of do, actually. Like, I honestly, I don't want to make this a one-off thing, but, like, it'll be tough to, like, stream this all the time with, like, a laggy, uh, with a laggy, um, webcam and stuff. So, uh, until I get a 3080 or 3090, or 3080 Ti, whenever that comes out, I'll uh, I'll probably revert back to regular stuff. But man, I love I love how this looks. Yo, even this looks clean. I think I'll get back to just doing one star per level. Cause I still want to show you guys the the vanilla. So this is this is Render 96, but also vanilla looks really good um, in its own way. Like I said earlier, it looks like a paper craft paper craft like diorama thing. Looks so good. So we'll kind of do like a, we'll kind of start doing quick overviews because I think we've kind of seen most of what we've wanted to see, at least from Render 96. Also, again, water reflecting the entire stage looks so good. Uh, let's quickly, I mean, I don't even need to get stars. We can just warp between stages. It's not a big deal. Yeah, the lighting here looks so good. So good. I'm, I'm still gushing over this. It's so good. Anyway, uh, let's move on. So we'll do like just brief overviews of all these stages. Destroy this looks dope. It is it is the best this game has ever looked. And I can't believe that it's gonna get even better. I, I refuse to believe it. This still exists. <laughs> so that's good. At least the glitches aren't removed. That makes it epic. Look at these dudes. Imagine, like, I mean, again, pipe, big pipe dream, but imagine, imagine if Nintendo did, was able to, uh, release something like this. The waterfall looks kind of scuffed. It's very thin. Uh, I mean, like, maybe that's what it looks like normally. It just, it, it looks a lot less, I guess, realistic without the, the texture it normally uses. It doesn't look like the, like the water is agitated enough, you know? Also love how, like, again, the, like, the backside of the mountain is actually, like, darkened. There's actual shadows where there should be. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, let's go up to the top. We'll avoid the Chuckyas. The true Chuckya gamers. What's up, Super Mario? Get out of the way! Stop. Can you? Can you stop? Can you please? There we go. Ooh. There we go. Epic. Let's do a nice little side flip. 
I genuinely can't believe I'm playing this in like in real time. It blows my mind. I love how the the texture for the ground is literally like sawdust. <laughs> That's so funny. When you see it in full res, it kind of looks a little bit goofy almost because it actually looks like sawdust, which doesn't make it look like uh, actual ground or whatever. That's kind of the funny. I mean, that that I mean, it looks clean, but it looks less realistic. Cause it it looks like just giant bits of sawdust. All right. Uh, what's next? I guess everything down here. So let's warp to. Uh, we only have a few stages left. Up to level tick tock clock. Let us go, gamers. <clears throat> Save the pseudo. Thank you for the two dollars super chat. Uh, I need a pre-existing ROM. How is that legal? If you dump your own ROM, it's legal. So you have to get a certain device that you put stick your cartridge into. You can rip it onto your PC, and that's how it's legal. It just becomes illegal as soon as you steal someone else's pirated copy, or you pirate someone else's ripped copy. I'm cheating? I am. I sure am. Thank you for the super chat. Again, going towards my uh, new graphics card fund. I didn't need to get that. I'm so, I'm like, I'm, my muscle memory is like so in like speedrun form. <laughs> that, that is still like, just from memory, I still get the stars. How does chat appear to me? Uh, I, just, I just have a separate window open on one of my monitors. Dude, even the shadow on the flipping clock hands this is good <laughs> uh but yeah i have like a i have a chat monitor sorry chat window open on my monitor so i have my like game and chat right beside each other so i can like at least try to quickly read between both as much as i can i wonder if this would look better when stuff is moving i don't really want to uh reload into it. I also just realized if I want to show off the uh, the vanilla version of this game, I don't really want to change the thumbnail, but <laughs> people are going to be like, oh, this doesn't look like the thumbnail. Did it mean to fall there? I'm not going to allow that, chat. I, I ain't allowing that. We're going. We're going for it, and it didn't work. It didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. We're going in, chat. We going in. Why isn't it working? Why is moon jump? There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna moon jump to the top. It's been a while since I used moon jump. Like a long time since I used moon jump. But I'm. <laughs> I just want to get up to the top. I don't want to play through the whole stage. Let's check it out. Here we go. Mario using the power of the baby, and it is epic. See, I don't know where the light source is coming from here, but can I get unstuck, please? Thank you. Just go all the way up to the top. Or at least here. Here's fine. Okay. I mean, this stage, just by the nature of the stage, it's hard to, like, look around because the camera's always centered in the middle. So it is kind of hard to truly get an appreciation of all the lighting here. I mean, in general, it still looks, it still looks better, but... It's probably the best I can do to, to, get, a, to get a good view. Just cause, just cause how, uh, like, centric, center centric this, uh, <laughs> this is. Hey, what's up, Kinoko? Welcome back. Alright, chat, so that was Render 96. So now I'm gonna switch to the, uh, I wonder if my webcam's still gonna be lagging when I go full screen with it. Oh yeah, we already saw that. Um, I guess this will be a test. If I close the game, I wonder if it's gonna improve the frame rate. Not really. So maybe it's not the game. I don't know why it's, uh. Still laggy when the game's closed. It might just be because like I'm using a different graphics card and my computer's not like ready for it or whatever. But uh, now I shall open chat. We'll we'll run the vanilla version. Uh, so again, same ray tracing thing. It just doesn't have the render ninety six models. I think I have a build of this. Uh, repose master build. Let's see if it runs. Let's see if it runs any smoother. In theory, it should be less intensive for, um, it should eat up less resources, but let's play some music so it's not often quite, uh, it should in theory use less resources, but I guess we'll see in a couple seconds here. 
What's poppin', boys? I want to touch the Warrior Land, shake it. I do want to do the Warrior Land games. I, I, I'll probably do the first couple, like the first four, I guess, before I do shake it. But I do, I do want at some point want to try them. I did, I did Warrior World. It didn't do super well, so I don't know. If people in general aren't super interested in Wario games as much as Mario games. Me, Mario. But uh, Hello. let me just do some behind-the-scenes stuff here for a sec. Again, guys, sorry that the webcam is super choppy. Hopefully, it'll be. I mean, it should be fixed next time when I have everything running normally. Uh, pause that. Let's go to full screen. Let's go game capture. Hang on. Hang on, chat. Almost ready. It's going to be choppy as I resize the window as it tries to like re-render everything in a different resolution. Uh, 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 okay. There we go. Okay, so this is the si so this is again ray traced. Just um It's ray traced. It's just uh regular regular models. So this this still looks really cool in its own way. Obviously the, the models aren't as high poly and stuff. But but it still looks like in its own way very cool. It's, it, it keeps like the original the original uh I guess aesthetic if you want to call it that from the original game. We don't have as many fancy things as our, as the uh, other one like we don't have the reflective doorknobs anymore and stuff, but it just looks like really cool paper craft. It looks like uh you know those like things you print out. You have to, like folds, like yeah, paper craft. Um, it it, it kind of just has like that big like whole diorama looking, looking, looking look. You know. Let's go. Like, look at this. Still looks really good. Obviously, the the ray tracing does give it that extra oomph. We can still see like the goombas are like reflective. Uh, it just looks so good. It, it does run a lot smoother. I gotta say, it does run a lot smoother. Unfortunately, my webcam's still laggy, but uh, I believe now it should be running at a steady 60. So far, it's been running at a steady 60. Um, and we haven't—I haven't seen any stutters yet. Like when we played the Render 96, when I got to the Chain Chomp, that was a bit messy. <laughs> but here, we're chilling. And we still—and we still get all of the goodness from the ray tracing. We still have the, the proper shadows. Still have all that fun stuff. Oh, I didn't do the right star, did I? Oops, I don't know what star I chose. Oh, Mario Wings to the sky. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I thought I chose King Babom. My bad. Do I have Cheater on this one? Uh... Swim anywhere? <laughs> sure. I was going to Moon Jump, but this works just as well. This works just as well. It's not what I wanted, but it works. Okay. Uh, I, I still didn't open the cannon. Whatever. Still looks really good. I'm trying to think of like, what stages I could show off. I mean, we didn't go to Bowser. We didn't go to Bowser three yet. I'm, just, I'm dumb. Whatever. We'll do that. Oh, this. Oh, so I, I knew I enabled stay in the stage after getting star. I must have enabled it on this one, not the other one. No, no matter. Uh, let's warp to what, have, what else haven't we seen? That is like, I, like a cavern of the metal cap. I don't know if that's worth going to. Uh, I mean, we can go there for a few seconds. Not a big deal. Tower of the... Uh, Cavern of the Metal Cap. Oops. Whoops, 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 whoops. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, we haven't seen Metal Mario yet. Okay, well, that's one thing I did want to show off. So, yeah. So, with, with the ray tracing, uh, Metal Mario actually reflects... We've seen this before with other stuff, but it actually reflects everything like it should. So, in the, in the normal game, Metal Mario does just have a texture. I believe it's like a picture of a flower or something. Uh, whereas here, again... Uh, it is actually the metal is actually reflecting the surroundings. So let's see if I can. Uh, I mean, I think I can give myself metal cap forever. But uh, even here, you can if you look closely, you can see the red coins reflecting off Metal Mario. So cool, so cool, man. Sorry again, I'm <laughs> nerding nerding out this entire stream. Many spices. Thank you for the two dollar super chat. Going towards the the new graphics card fund. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what other stages? I'm trying to think what else would be a cool stage to show off in, in vanilla Super Mario 64. 
Um... It could be one we've already seen. Let's check out, like, uh... We also haven't checked out Rainbow Ride yet. Let's do that quickly. Still looks really good. The Lighting Man is just on another level. How does... Uh, how do I have cheats? Uh, when you compile the game, you can... There's, there's certain mods that people have made. You can enable cheats and stuff. Another, another fancy feature of the PC port. PC port has so many fancy features. It's like, it's, oh, it is truly the gift that keeps on giving. And it's all thanks again to uh, all of the uh, people that are working on building stuff for the, for the PC port. So good. Like even just that, even being able to stay in the stage after getting a star, such a nice, such a nice feature. Cause normally it kicks you out after every stage. Here we can just vibe and keep, keep grinding, you know? Keep on grinding. I jumped. I jumped. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's warp to another level. Uh, what would look really good? Let's check out. What, uh, I think like the best looking stage for this would probably be uh, Womp's Fortress. It just looks really good. Again, Mario's reflection. Everything looks so good. And again, a lot of the stages that are super bright look the best, in my opinion. Uh, for, for obvious reasons. Bam. Nothing wrong with nerding out? Dude, I flippin' love this. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it makes me so happy, dude. Also, if you guys are enjoying the stream, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. Smash that like button. If you're enjoying, find your way back for more epic Mario content. I'll probably upload uh, and edit this into a video at some point this week. So if you missed part of the stream earlier, fret not. This shall be re-uploaded. How does the game over screen look like? Good point. I kind of want to check it out. I don't know if I can warp to the... Uh, damn. I don't know if there's a way I can just warp to the... To, to, the, to the death screen. I also don't want to just die five times. Uh, I don't... I mean, it should look like the main menu. I don't know if it'll look too different. Uh, let's check out Bowser in the Sky. I haven't been there yet. Oops. I keep pressing start instead of A. And that is clearly not what I should be using. Uh, there we go. Yo, this looks clean. Again, I... 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 I I can't say if I like the Render 96 one more than this one. They both have really ups and downs. I know a lot of people don't really like the Render 96 stuff for whatever reason. They're like, oh, it looks ugly. It doesn't look as good. Whatever, whatever. Um, I personally am a big fan of it. Um, but this keeps the original style, the original look. So if you don't like the new style look stuff, you can keep it looking original, but still very clean. And again, I've said it several times, but it still gives it that really cool, like, diorama look. And honestly, like, this makes the N64 graphics age really well. A lot of people love to say that N64 and PS1 graphics haven't aged well. But it... This kind of goes to prove that they could look better. And, like, the the models are still the same. It's just the, uh... I mean, obviously the resolution's bumped up. The uh, lighting's infinitely better, but... the gra I, I'd say these graphics hold up. They might be N64 graphics, but, like... They obviously have been made better, but... I wouldn't say this. I I personally wouldn't say that these graphics look like they've aged poorly, based on this. Can you say my name? My name. Got him. Uh, what's up, Andrew C? Sheesh, you're good. I'm alright. We got a PB yesterday. So uh, for those that don't know, PB is like a personal best. We spe speed ran this game. Got a new personal record. That was pretty sweet. About an hour, 18 minutes. Which isn't anything crazy, but it is currently my, currently the best I've done. What's up, Lyric Dreams? What other games do I play? Uh, yo, look at Bowser, dude. Sorry, I'll answer that question in a second. This is what I mean. Like, the poly count is probably still the same, I imagine. But it just looks like really cool paper craft. Like, no other games I don't think have really done this that look this good, at least. I know there's like there's been a been a bit of a resurgence for like PS1 and 64 looking graphics, especially in horror games, but like 
I guess maybe it's just because it's with ray tracing that the shadows on the different polygons look really good. But Bowser just looks like Papercraft, and it looks like so, it looks so good. Honestly, I think I like Bowser better in this, without Render 96, at least with ray tracing. Because this just looks, this has like a very cool style to it, you know? Look how good Bowser looks. So good. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm so happy. This makes me so happy. And I missed. And I missed. And he fell off. What does RTX mean? RTX is, um, well, it's ray tracing. It doesn't mean ray tracing, but it is, I believe, I don't, I, I don't know what RTX stands for. It's just, it's just uh, NVIDIA's naming conventions for their current last two generations of graphics cards. Another miss. Anyway. Minus World Memes is in the chat. Oh my god. This looks so good. Sorry, I don't know why I'm missing all these throws. I did better yesterday during an actual speedrun versus <laughs> just fooling around. I used to be a renegade. I used to fool around. Couldn't take the punishment. Had to settle down. Alright, uh, that one's probably closest. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, good. And last throw. I don't even want to do the last throw. Because <laughs> I don't want to finish the game, but. Oh, I wonder if the end cutscene is. How, how the end cutscene looks. I do want to see what the ending cutscene looks like. I don't know if I want to go back to the, to the to the other one we did already, but I want to see what it looks like with this one at least. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at timing this. Are the textures updated a bit too? Yes. So this one, I think I, I think I downloaded. Um, I also compiled it with the. Uh, I think this one has the Render 96 HD texture pack. So this isn't quite vanilla. Everything is vanilla except for the textures, which I guess is almost all of it. <laughs> but so the textures are updated. Good point. Forgot about that. Can I please get this throw for the memes. There we go. Please. That was so close. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at aiming the last throw. It's either you're, you get it or you just straight up don't for the longest time. For the longest time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm garbage. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. I'm just missing like an idiot. What's up, funny wee hack man? Yo, even Bowser's like own fire gives off light. That's so cool. It just like lights him up too. That's oh, so cool. I'm garbage, chat. I'm garbage. I just warped to the end cutscene. So bad. Don't spin that fast. I think for the last one you have to because you need a little bit more distance. So the first couple ones you don't have to spin as fast, but this one I believe you need a little bit more. Bop, 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 bop. Please. Thank you. Oh my god, that took way too, that took way too long. Okay. We got it. I, I just love how the low poly... I mean, it's low poly, but it looks so good with the lighting. It just looks like really good paper craft. It's so cool. The Grand Star, or whatever it's called. It's called Grand Star in this game? I, I want to see what the ending cutscene looks like. I'm interested to see what that will look like. I also can't exit now at any point. <laughs> Even if I wanted to exit it out. How did you get an RTX card? I did it. I'm borrowing this from my friend, actually. <laughs> so I still have a GTX card. So I, I'm, it's a 2070. I'm not sure if TI or not. I don't know if there was a 2070 TI or not even. After I got my 1080 TI, I kind of just skipped out on a... I, I, did, I, I ignored graphics cards until the 3080 got announced. And I was like, oh man, that looks really good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess another thing I'm not a huge fan of is Peach in the Render 96. I, I, it does look like the promotional material. I, just, I guess I didn't like that. I don't, I don't like the way it's rendered as much. Again, this just looks so good. The lighting just looks so good. 
I can't get over it, dude. Even the bu even the buffs are like, I mean they look a little bit they look a little bit more derpy. That's one thing on the opposite side. I do like the random ninety six toads a lot more than the uh, the vanilla ones. This looks. Honestly, I kind of like this Mario model more than the Odyssey one. The Odyssey one's like glossy. It's kind of weird. It is nice too. And it's all thanks to you. But I think this one looks better <laughs> than the Mario Odyssey costume. We have to do something special for you. Uh, so, oh, sorry. What other games do I play? Um, I was going to answer that earlier. Uh, I mostly play, if it's not for a video, I mean, I play different games for a video almost every week. But if it's not for a video, it's usually uh, Call of Duty Warzone or Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I wonder if I can exit after the cutscenes. I, I don't really want to sit through the cutscene. I might just restart the game. Um, so I do want. I still want to see a few more things. we will probably see it for another like 15-ish minutes. I guess watching the ending cutscene will get a good uh, cross section of all the levels too. I don't know if I want to though. <laughs> so good. Okay, I don't really want to sit through the entire cutscene. I don't think I can skip it without enabling some stuff. I don't think I did. So, on that note, I'm going to close it and reopen it. And it's going to be a good time. Uh... It just takes a while to like start up. <laughs> it takes like 20 seconds just to boot up the game. And they lived a happy life, and they lived happily ever after. It's me, Mario. Please, Jolly Roger Bay. Um, we, could, we could revisit them. We did them earlier. But I'm not opposed to revisiting it. Uh, just give me a sec while I switch this. Okay, it's going to sound choppy for a few seconds here. Down, 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 down. There we go. Oh, okay. yeah. Again, G Fuel Co Tetra, as you see in the bottom right, overlapped under the text. Uh, last day is tomorrow for 30% off until the next sale. Get it while you can. Get it while the G Fuel's hot. All right. Uh, I guess we can check out JRB again. I don't know if it'll look any different, but let's check it out. Super Mario 12,648. Hell yeah. I do really like how the stars have reflections in the Render 96. That's one thing I really do miss about the uh, Render 96 one. But still. I mean, again, they, they both have their... Mostly pros. They both have their pros. They don't. I don't think either one really has many cons. Um, okay, now we can actually see it brighter. We didn't see this earlier. Um, so we can actually see what it looks like when it's brighter here. Also, Metal Mario looking like an absolute legend. One of the coolest things I think is that the Metal is Metal Mario actually has his own like not even texture. It doesn't use a texture. It uses like actual reflections. Uh, maybe it does use a texture, but it still reflects. It's so cool. Oh, we didn't do a BLJ either. Yeah, we got to do a BLJ as well. I promise we do a BLJ. Yo, even the bubbles have shadows here. What? That's so cool. Okay, let's check out the eel. Oh, Mr. Unagi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Everyone say hi to. To the to the eel in the chat, say hello, hello Unagi, hello Mr. Unagi. Give us the damn star. Oh my God, I'm not gonna get it, am I? I might get it, but I'm not gonna get it in time. I'm not. I'm dead. I'm dead. Run. End my suffering. No, don't drown, idiot. Okay, well, let's try that again. Let's try that again, gamers. Metal Mario 128. Mamma mia. <laughs> there we go. Lots, lots of high noggies in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad a lot of you guys know how to spell it. I'm sure most of your Mario fans will see you. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen the word unagi in other stuff. Unagi literally means eel, I believe, in Japanese. Um, but I feel like most people, I'm sure some people that eat a lot of sushi might know what unagi is, or if you're Japanese, of course. But I think most people just know it from, uh, <laughs> from Mario. At least I used to. Then when I got, like, sushi, I was like, oh, I know what that is. I'm big brain. Damn. 
It's I don't know why it's for me it's so much harder to do the do the uh like swim through the jet stream on, on the PC port compared to N64. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's 60 frames. I just like I have such hard such a harder time doing it. I get close, but I can never like close it out, you know? Uno dos Trace Quatro. Again, if you're enjoying the stream, subscribe, hit the like button. What are we at? 700 likes. Holy crap. That is a lot of likes, chat. All right, let's move on to another level. Let's do a few more levels. Uh, I probably have like 10 minutes-ish left of stream time. And then we'll close it up for then, chat. Again, if you're enjoying the stream, consider becoming a channel member. Get extra epic stream perks. All that fun stuff. Uh, let's go to... Let's go back to Lethal Lava Line. Let's see what it looks like with this. Sam Trendy J with a two. Thanks so much. Mario smells LOL. Smells good. XD got him. Squid Wait, is it Mr. What's up, part of Sponge? Is it Mr. Crab smells or Squidward smells? I think it's Squidward smells good. <laughs> That's what SpongeBob ends up writing. I'm gonna go back to the volcano. That was honestly one of the coolest things I've seen so far. Uh, the inside of the volcano. That was just so cool looking. Bloop. And I missed. Classic. Classic gamer moments. That was weird. Uh, okay, I'm going to go by Tetra. Thanks for tuning in. Have yourself a good rest of the day. This looks really good too. It looks definitely different, but the lighting here is still very nice. I also, I got to say, I really still like the, the way the old coins look in the in the PC port compared to the Render 96. They're both nice. The Render 96 coins are very nice. But again, this just looks so good. Oh, this, look at that. Look at the shadow. It's off Mario's nose. You can see Mario's shadow on the back. That looks so good. I could literally play this all day, chat. Legitimately, no scam. I could play this all day. Look how good this, I mean, I said this at the exact same spots last time, but just like this section in jet, in, in specific looks so good like look how good that looks my goodness chat oh man okay, so that's, that's not what i wanted all right let's check out uh what else was a cool level in, in the render 96 uh Check out Big Boo's Haunt again. That was, uh, no. Let's check out, uh... Check out Hazy Maze Cave. I want to see how Dory looks. Because Dory looks very well lit up. But I want to see how Dory looks with, uh... Damn it. I want to see how Dory looks with, uh... The low-poly model still, but with better lighting. You know? Why am I here? Excuse me, game? I guess it tries to load you into the last place you got a star? I don't know why it loaded me there. That was weird. Wrong warp chat? Possible wrong warp discovered? It's crazy. So, oh, yeah. Squ oh, Squidward smells good. <laughs> that's the... That's the... One where they swear, right? Because he say, he sees that on the dumpster where they learn the, the dolphin word. Okay, let's see what Dory looks like now. Okay, not as good. I mean, still better, but definitely not as good as in Render 96. Still looks better. Render Dory's still looking all right. Dory, you do be looking all right. Someone order a pizza? Yo, pizza delivery guys here, chat? Oh my god. Hello? Hello, game? Hello, game? Why is it not getting it? Hello? Am I in the wrong, wrong spot? I don't feel like I am. There we go. God, it took too long. Then play all day. Challenge accepted. Yo. Oh, I didn't get the star yet. Let's go. Uh, let's go. What else have I, haven't I done? Go to Bowser 1 again. I want to see what Bowser... How, if that looks any different. Sailor Mouth. That's the one. 
All right, last up, let's check out Bowser 1 here. Honestly, the... I mean, it still looks good. I don't know if it's just Bowser. I mean, no, it still does look good. I, I still think Bowser 3 looked a little bit better. I guess just based on the lighting in that stage. Here, it's a lot brighter, for better or for worse. Uh, still good. I mean, it still looks like a really nice paper craft. I still like it a lot. But Bowser 3 definitely, definitely took the cake. He said the thing, he said, let's, let's go, chat. Epic, funny meme, XD moment. I don't know why the, the picture doesn't change to Bowser when I get close, though. That's kind of strange. Genuinely not sure. Genuinely not sure. I just, also, I love how the, just the foyer, or the lobby looks. So good, dude. So good. We haven't seen what Boo's courtyard looks like with actual Boo's there, though. Let's check that out quickly. Oh, do a BLJ? Yeah, well, actually, yeah, we'll end off on the BLJ. Good point. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, it obviously looks a lot better than normal. Unfortunately, is, is Ella's real statue? Oh, it still has a high-res texture. Whatever that says. Still still ambiguous, chat. <laughs> still ambiguous. Uh, let's go to... Yeah, let's go BLJ. Let's end things off on a nice little RTX on BLJ. That could be a short video on its own. Maybe I'll make that into, like, a short... On Tetra Bit Plus or something. BLJ with RTX on. <laughs> Even this hallway, man. Ah, oh, so good. I, I'm sorry. I probably said the same thing 20,000 times this, this stream. But it just looks so good. What's up, Brandon Shaw? Alright, let's check it out. End things off on a nice looking BLJ. When your imposter is sus. A very dark hallway. Very ominous. Here we go, chat. BLJ with RTX on. Things are looking good. Let's see if we can BLJ. Come on. Oh, I handled. Let's get centered. Now we got it. Come on! Come on, Mario. There we go. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this place is nice and lit up. There you go. BLJ, RTX on. That was epic. That was looking pretty mad, though. <laughs> that was so cool. Very cool, chat. Very, very, very cool. I can crank. I mean, it still looks good. I'm sure I could crank it up more because it's not render 96 anymore, but still super cool. Let's go end things off on. Uh... Let's go to Womp Sword. Oops. Keep forgetting to actually warp. Keep forgetting to actually warp, gamers. All right. I think we'll leave it at that. This was again Super Mario 64 with ray tracing turned on. Showed off the Render 96 as well as the Vanilla. I, again, both look really good in their own way. Uh, honestly, can't say if I have a favorite between them. I both think I, I think they both just look super good. Phenomenal. Oh, we didn't really get a look at the Prana. Also looks really good. Like, like, like more, more basic papercraft. Looks so good. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to do an outro for the, for the video chat. Don't go anywhere yet. We're not done the stream just yet. Almost, but not just yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this game looks phenomenal. I mean, I love this game already as it is. This just makes it look even, even better. Honestly, I still need to get a better graphics card. And once I do, I'll probably play this a lot more. It's just, a, it's very in, intensive on my on my CPU usage. Am my webcam a bit better, a bit better? No, it's still choppy. As you guys can see by the webcam, it's a bit choppy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave it a like if you want to... Uh, hang on, I don't want to say that. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Be sure to leave it a like. Be sure to leave a like. Okay. Anyways, that'll be it for the video. Be sure to leave a like if you want to support the channel. Let the YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, be sure to. Anyways, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave me a. I don't want to say this. Anyways, if you enjoyed the. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like down below to help me and the YouTube algorithm. So... Anyways, if you... <laughs> sorry guys, you gotta you guys gotta see some some behind the scenes content here though of how I'm recording this. 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like to let me and the YouTube algorithm know. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me and the YouTube algorithm know with a like down below. It really helps me out a lot. But as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in an RTX bit. Bye-bye. That was a really bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's for, the, that's for the video chat. That's for the video. But I think we are going to wrap up the stream pretty quickly here. I'll, uh, I'll keep playing. We can we can end the recording. Let's see if that... Oh, I thought it was going to help out with my video quality, but not. Uh, let's switch to this. JK, it's not set up yet. So let's just switch on back. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll wrap things up right away here, chat. This wall. Just this wall, chat, is one of my favorite things we've seen. It's just the lighting difference there is so nice. So nice. This stage is probably my favorite. It looks like a very natural stage with the lighting. It looks very, very good. You guys like that little behind the scenes content though? I was about to see what it's like to record a, a re record an outro. It usually takes a lot longer. And just when I do a stream, it's it's kind of like more natural if I do. <laughs> it has a little bit of error to it, you know? This looks so good. I, want someone, I wish someone counted how many times I said something looks good in this stream. But guys, if you're enjoying the stream, again, consider subscribing if you're new. Leave a like also if you're new. If you want to extra support the channel, um, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button beside the subscriber button. Helps out a lot, of course. Uh, and all that fun stuff. This looks... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it looks good, chat. I ain't gonna say it. What star am I doing now? Chip off Womp's block. Can I activate the owl? No. Okay. Uh. But yes, I can. But yes, I can. Is it going Tetra Bit replay? Or I'll probably do the full stream on Tetra Bit replay. Uh, but I think I'll edit it down for the main channel. I think so. Outro Lost Bits Live. There you go. That's the that's the content you really subbed for, chat. That's the true content you sub for. Even the inside of this cage looks good, man. What the hell? What in tarnation? What in tarnation, chat? That's what the bullet bills look like, real quick. So good, chat. Ugh. Look at this dude. I'm excited for, like... I really want to replay some ROM hacks, or at least the PC port. Like, I want to do the, the Mario Odyssey ROM hack again or whatever. Uh, I want to see how that would look like with uh, RTX on, or ray tracing enabled. Looked really good. What 3D All-Star should have been? I wish. I mean, there's no way the Switch could run this. Not a, not a chance. I mean, we didn't even get we didn't even get this game in uh, 1080p 60. We just got it. I don't even know. Is it 60 frames in the Switch port? I can't remember. But it's... uh. It's definitely, uh, it's, sorry, what's the word? It's definitely not 1080p. I think it's still, uh, still, uh, what's the word? Still 7, 8, 720 on, on the Switch. For whatever reason. Not sure why. There we go. Who made this mod? Uh, so, uh, the ray tracing stuff is made by Dario Samo. It's Dario, I remembered it this time. Dario, uh... Dario Samo. You can find him on Twitter. Dario, D A like Dario, like Mario, both a D and Samo, S A M O. So he made it. He made it for the vanilla first, and then uh, I think he works together with the Render 96 team to make it for Render 96 as well. Which is so good, so good, dude. <laughs> the minute I get a better computer, I'm downloading this. So you can't just download it. Uh, you just have to go through a little bit of a process. You have to compile it yourself using um, MSYS2. So it is a bit of a process. You have to have a little bit of. Uh, knowledge on how to do it, which if you do, great. If not, there's definitely guides out there to learn how to do it. But it's not as, as simple as just downloading it, unfortunately. I think it's 60 FPS in dock mode. Okay, gotcha. Cheers for the stream. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Be sure to tune into future streams. We had a lot of viewers today. I wish we had this many viewers ever, all the time. So if you enjoyed the stream, subscribe, tune into the future ones. Um, we did a stream yesterday, so I don't know if I'll, I, I might take a couple days off of streaming for a bit. Um, but. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, sorry for the choppy webcam. I wish it was better, but my computer was pretty much melting, so. <laughs>
It, it is it is what it is, chat. It is what it is. Where does one download this? Uh, again, like I say, it's not just a matter of downloading. It's a little bit of a longer answer than that. Friday Funkin' RTX turned on. I think I saw a, a, a thumbnail for that, which I don't know how that makes sense if it's not a 3D game. <laughs> I don't know. I saw a thumbnail. With, it was like, uh, it was, uh, yeah, Friday Funkin' with RTX turned on. All right, chat. If you missed part of the stream, be on the lookout. I'll probably be uploading this video sometime this week, probably. Um, on Tetra Bit, the main channel, as well as Tetra Bit Replay. Subscribe to Tetra Bit Replay if you're not all, sub subscribed already. It's our VOD channel. Links are down in the description. Go follow on all those things if you haven't already. Actually, in, on that note, let's go, let's go, let's go raid. Tetra Bit Replay. Tetra Bit Replay. La, 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 la. Where do I download the stuff needs to be compiled? Uh, join, join the uh, either the PC port or both. Join the PC port Discord as well as the uh, Render ninety six Discord. They have like help help channels and stuff. Best best place to uh, to learn how to do stuff. I'm sure if you Google Render ninety six uh, Discord, I'm sure you'll find a link for it. Oh man, I was like, what? for some reason, I'm like, have I not uploaded on Tetra Replay for like four months? But I guess I just sorted it by most viewed or something. Okay, let's so check out Tetra Replay, guys. Go watch the videos. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And I will see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Thank you for all the super chats and members today as well.